Hi guys, uh, day three here. It's uh, Wednesday, the 25th of March. Um, special guest, Mr. Wright. There he is. We're just getting ready for the Joe Wicks workout. Body's feeling very sore after yesterday, so Mr. Flowers is trying to battle through as we go through there. A little bit of a dilemma this morning, a little bit late out from the house. Poor little Louis uh, had a bit of a confrontation with a dog across the fence, so I had to go out there and rescue him. So he's, he's safe and sound, but uh, a little bit of an adventure this morning, so a bit late to work. Um, great to hear some more good things from yesterday. The weather is outstanding. Great to see some outdoor garden shots from some of you so far. Um, and thank you to all of you who sent me some bits of work already and are ploughing through some things that we've got. It sounds like target time's working really well with your challenges from your SATs folders and bits like that. A um, little recap or a little refresher for today. We've got, um, in maths, we're still looking at statistics. Mrs. Bassett's group's moving on to the mean. So you guys about averages and looking like that. There's Mr. Wright again. And then we've got uh, Mrs. Bassett's looking at the mean. Um, and then everybody else is looking at um, real life graphs. So you've got to really look carefully. Please look at the lesson first. Take your time, go through it, because it is new content. So just do take your time. Um, with the lesson before giving a, 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 the, the activity a go. We've got, our, in our spellings, we've got uh, the k and the g ending, so g-u-e, okay, or q-u-e ending, things like tong and plaque and things like that. Some of you in vague have struggled with those in the past, so have a look through there for spelling frame. Uh, Pobble, you've got your sentence challenges uh, today, Wednesday sentence challenges, so again, keep going with those as best you can. Um, and artwork, as we keep going through, keep going for it. Uh, what I've got is a few links to share with you, actually. I'm going to put them at the bottom of this video, so have a look through there. Um, I'm going to try and keep releasing new links each day. Uh, there's lots coming out on social media and bits like that when it comes to uh, what certain things people can offer for free to children and resources and bits like that. Um, we've got the Edinburgh Zoo. I've got some webcams, live webcams of five different animals in their zoo. And that's quite good fun just to watch for five, ten minutes or so, just to have a look, particularly our science uh, focus on living things. Um, so have a look at the Edinburgh Zoo website that's attached. Uh, we've got the uh, world of David Walliams. He's reading an audio book every day at 11 a.m. I'll put the link at the bottom as well. Um, we've got the uh, wildlife with Steve Backshaw on Facebook uh, from every day from 9.30 answering some wildlife questions. So just open your eyes to different things uh, that are out there. Keep going. You, don't, you can steer away from the, the uh, planning and all the routine or the timetable if you need to, um, by all means. So keep finding new things, discovering new things. Help me out. Help me out. Point me in the direction of things that you found as well. Um, I'm going to release to you tomorrow a special thing to do with animal um, AR 3D. I'm going to show you that tomorrow, so I'm not going to bombard you with stuff today. So I've got something in the pipeline for tomorrow. Keep coming with me, some, any ideas you want me to do. Um, so have a fantastic day. A couple of shout-outs before we go. Um, keep them coming in. I've not got many. I want to keep reading your names out and, getting, and passing some messages on. Um, shout-out for Ellie. Fantastic. By the sounds of it, you've been the absolute star, Mum tells me, um, at home. Um, it's big shout out to Ellie who has mastered the perfect somersault and says hi to everyone. So a big hi from Ellie um, and well done for mastering the perfect somersault. And also I got the beautiful formal letter in terms of an email from Maisie um, and it was a great message. She has had a, a great day, a um, few difficulties with pie, but with pie charts, but um, she said she enjoyed helping her sister make a hammer bead weather mobile to hang in her front window and she enjoyed seeing all the rainbows that children have been putting in their window as a sign of hope and, and, and there's, 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 there's hope on the horizon. So a big shout out to Ellie and Maisie today. Um, rest of you have an amazing day as always. Keep sending me some bits in. Any problems, I'm on the email. I'm still in school at the moment so still busy to send looking after the children so I'll try and get back as quick as I can. But um, have a great day everyone. It's flowers out. Enjoy everyone. Bye bye. <laughs>